Disney. Wheels, wheels, wheels and more wheels. Have you ever given any thought to what man's life would be like without wheels? Have you ever thought of how many things you use every day in which wheels of some sort play a part? Life without wheels is not only hard to imagine, but almost impossible. Now we can't tell you when the wheel was invented or who invented it. But in the next few minutes, we're going to tell you a lot of other things about the wheel that everyone should know. In fact, we're even going to bring you a story of a young fellow who, except for one thing, could have been the inventor of the wheel. Maybe I should have said except for two things. The first one, he wasn't very smart. And the second, he just wouldn't listen to the voice of progress. Believe me, he should have. For progress and wheels have been rolling right along together for many a year. But right now, let's get the wheels a turning backwards. For we're going to start our show by going back, back, a way back in time. Well, now that you know something about the wheel and a bit about a few of its thousands of uses, let's concentrate on one particular thing that never could have been except for the existence of the wheel. That thing is the good old automobile. Now, according to the latest figures, there are 101,288,132 registered motor vehicles in the United States. At least that was a count an hour ago. Now, not counting all the gears and other kinds of wheels used in a car, but just the four that roll along the road, that means there are uh, 405,152,528 wheels pounding the streets freeways and expressways of our country. And that many wheels carrying that many cars means problems. In fact, so many problems that a short time ago I asked some of our artists here at the studio to give these problems a bit of thought. And maybe we could come up with a few solutions. You know, artists are very talented people. But some of their ideas, well, you see what you think. Here's one suggesting separate highways for women drivers. For an extra lane, thinner cars could ride the white line. For important business conferences, a wider car is proposed. Some drivers feel that cars should be equipped with uh, anti-passing devices. Some motorists demand arched box cars for stalled freight trains. For on-the-spot traffic analysis, the elevator seat. And for the hopelessly trapped motorist, the portable automobile. Here is the motorist's dream come true, the disposable highway vehicle. A mobile car wash would provide complete service en route. To combat driving fatigue, we might welcome the highway slumber bus. Swift justice for the traffic violator. Arrested, tried, and sentenced. All in a package deal. As I said before, artists are very talented people. But for some reason, those ideas just didn't seem to be the right answers to our driving problems. However, we're not ones to give up easily around here. If these new ideas weren't too practical, maybe the answer was to show the drivers the correct way to use the facilities already available. So it was back to the drawing board. 
This time, the results were different. In fact, so different that I want every one of you, be you driver, non-driver, or even a backseat driver, to sit up straight and pay attention to what you're about to see and hear. You can learn something that might save your life.